Hello everybody, I'm Rusty. I want to welcome you to Island Breeze Tropicals. So today we're going to be asking the question, what grouping of bromeliads has the most vivid color? So you know what? The sun is shining, the island breeze is blowing, it's time that you and I got growing. Come on, let's have some fun, and why don't we take a look and see which bromeliads have the best color? So, is there any one group of bromeliads that has the most vivid color? Well, in my opinion, yeah there is, and I'm going to say it's Neo Regilia. So, for my argument, I'm going to take you to Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads in Fort Myers, Florida, and we're going to take a look at some eye-popping Neos. So, come on, let's take a tour and have some fun. So, what genus has the most color and I'm going to give my guess on that and as you can see there's a lot of color here and we're at Sundance Orchids and Bromeliads in Fort Myers, Florida. So the bright sun is shining right now. I'd say it's probably about 30 minutes past noontime here in southwest Florida on a fairly comfortable January day. We're in the 70s right now. And take a look at this color. Okay, so I asked the question, what genus has the most color? And you know, that may be subjective. Well, it probably is subjective, isn't it? But here's my vote. My vote is for Neoregilia. And I'm going to show you why I think so. And this is the first one that I want to show you. Now this one is called Neoregilia sandy. And if you take a look, that has got some beautiful pink color to it. But not to be outdone, this is called Neoregilia romance. And just take a look at the magenta color in this thing. And just take a look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I'd just like to have that in your collection. And this is called Neoregilia green apples. A more red color, but pretty bright, I would say. This gives you a really good idea as to that vivid red color that you see. This is called Neoregilia Valentines. And I love the margination on the leaves and the red color that you get in the center. And this is looking down into the center of the cup. You can see it has an inflorescence and two small little flowers in it. And if you're looking for bright red, I think I found it. This is called Neoregilia Maria. And just look at that red. Now it's cloudy out here today, at least partly cloudy. So sometimes we get some sun. Right now the sun is behind the clouds. And look, this just glows. And this really shows that beautiful red color down in the center of the tank. Now this is called Neo Regilia Sweet Vibrations. It's kind of hard to see, but this is a variegated plant. And we're going to take a look and see if we can see that. And now the sun's coming out, so we're going to get some glare. Sorry, guys. But this has got some beautiful color, too. Now, I'm not sure if the color really has to smack me in the face for me to like it. This is a bromeliad that I have known for an awfully long time. Uh, it's very popular. It really is a good standard uh, bromeliad that will actually tolerate uh, some unfiltered sunlight. And this is Neoregilia Margaret. And I really like Margaret. It's got some beautiful color to it. But I think what I like about it the best is that it is not totally uniform 
and the lower leaves have this nice yellow green color with the green margins on it. So guys, am I convincing you yet that Neoregilia has an awful lot of colorful bromeliads in the genus? This is called Neoregilia tango mango and just look at this color, it's really really cool. And looking down into the cup is one of the reasons I think bromeliads planted in the ground are so cool because you are at a vantage point where you can see all of the nuance of color and pattern uh, down in the cup and on the upper surface of the leaves. And admittedly, I wouldn't call this eye popping, but I think it's got a really interesting orange and what would you call that? A lime green color on it? This near Regilia, Hawaii. And this is what I like about Hawaii, that it has that interesting, I guess it's chartreuse. I'm not good at color, guys. I know what I like, though, and I certainly do like that. I think Hawaii is a real standout. I like the orange and the green. Now this is called Neoregilia Key Largo. Now this is another marginated Neoregilia that really stands out and it does so because of that rich color that's on the inside. But let's take a look. And here's what's really cool. If you look down into the center of the plant, you can still see the margination and it seems to tinge the red. And then underneath of it, take a look at that green. But sometimes they're more subtle. And this is near Regilia Red Velvet. Now we can go on and on and on. There's a lot of different kinds of neo regilias here at Sundance. If you want color, my vote is that you ought to get a neo regilia So okay guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of these wonderfully colored bromeliads. Now, neo regilia to me seems to have the most individuals with the best color, but what about you? What do you think? Leave me some comments down there. Tell me what your favorite bromeliads are when it comes to color. So no matter where you are, I hope your sun is shining. I hope you have an island breeze blowing. I know that you need to keep growing, have lots of fun. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time.